we would like to clarify a big mystery for once and for all. What's up with this ominous clean CCS EBIT? To make this clear, we first have to understand the difference between what we call EBIT to clean EBIT. EBIT stands for Earning Before Interest and Taxes and contains all of the revenues and expenses of a reporting period as recorded in the accounting system. This process is followed by all companies and has to meet well-defined accounting standards. But this accounting result may contain extraordinary effects which are not part of usual business operations. For example, every day at our filling stations we sell litres of petrol, cups of coffee and sandwiches. This is our normal business. However, if we sell a plot of land from a filling station, this is an extraordinary transaction because we are not a real estate company. So the sale of the land is not part of our core business. That's why we call this gain of such extraordinary transaction a special item, which we recognize separately from the reported EBIT. This is how you get so-called clean EBIT. Special items can have a positive or negative impact on EBIT and company guidelines govern which items are classified as special. Now we know what clean EBIT is. Revenues and expenses from a reporting period stripped of the extraordinary special items. This gives us a better understanding on the performance of our normal operations. And where does the CCS in clean CCS EBIT come from? CCS stands for Current Cost of Supply. This effect applies to the oil industry and has to do with the time between the purchase of the crude oil and the selling of an end product, for example, fuel. As you can imagine, the oil price is exposed to high volatility during such a period. Let's assume that the crude oil was bought at a price of $50 per barrel, but by the time the fuel reaches the filling station, the crude oil price has increased to $60 per barrel and is therefore significantly higher than at the time of purchase. The higher crude oil price has an impact on the current sales price of fuel, but the expenditure is of course linked to the original purchase price of crude. The CCS methodology corrects this balance by assuming that the crude oil used to obtain the fuel was bought in the current period. This is how the actual refinery operating performance is judged. We can now see that clean CCS EBIT is the operating earnings without one-off special effects, clean EBIT, and adjusted by the current cost of supply, clean CCS EBIT. This helps the comparison to previous years and to our peers' performance, as the entire oil and gas industry looks at similar versions of the clean CCS result.